all of this great big field of grass has all been cut into windrows. And instead of doing what I do, which is bale it up and make hay, they've let it sit down in the windrows until it dries. This looks like a, uh, a rye grass here. So here it is, and it dries until the seeds come off easily. And there it is, just tons and tons and tons of it all through this field. As far as you can see, it's grass, 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 and more grass. So what happens next? What do we do with all this stuff that's on the ground? Somehow we have to separate the straw, which is this stuff, doesn't have any seeds in it, from the seeds because we wanna keep the seeds so we can grow more grass. And the straw, actually a lot of the straw is sent away to feed animals in Japan or other countries where they don't have as much land and grass. They actually use it to feed their animals. Now in the olden days, they used to do things separately. They had a cutting machine and they had a threshing machine and they had all the different operations. But then they combined all of those operations into one machine. And that machine is called a combine. And a combine, if we're talking about wheat, it cuts the wheat, takes it all into the machine, blows all the extra stuff out, and at the end, up in the machine in the tank, you just have wheat. Now with grass, we have to cut it and lay it down. So the machine actually picks up the grass with fingers, takes it into the machine, separates the straw and the seed, and then you have a big giant tank full of grass seeds. We use this kind of grass seed on football fields, in parks, all over the place. You see this kind of stuff. Everywhere you see a green field, somebody playing soccer, somebody um, football or, or wherever you see a green grassy lawn, most of that grass seed comes from Oregon right here because we have perfect weather for grass. Now up on this hill, you can see these three big machines and the machines are crawling along. They have to move very slowly to do their work. And they pick up the, they pick up the windrow with the draper head with all of the fingers and they pick it up, take it inside. And you can see out the back, there's a lot of dust and straw and stuff that we don't need. And up in the top in the tank is grass seed. We'll get a closer look in a few minutes. Now I've got to get out of the way because there's a big combine coming. And hopefully we'll be able to get a good look at how it picks up the windrow and how the material looks as it goes in and comes out of the combine. The monster is on his way. <laughs> so just look at this. And look how small the driver is inside this big machine. And the grass just flows in like a river. Just picks it up, takes care of it, and spits it out. It's awesome! Now see, the, the header picks up with all of those fingers on the belt. A bunch of plastic fingers. And it picks it all up, and it eats it all up inside the machine, and then it travels up inside. If you're allergic to grass, you shouldn't come and film this. Because <laughs> I'm super dusty now. You see all the dust coming out of the back of the machine? And again, 
all of this material is clean now. You can see a few tops, but look at that top and compare it to this top. Here's what it looked like before with the seed. And then afterwards, nothing left. All of the seed is in the tank of that big yellow machine. It's a big machine. The tires are as tall as a man. And they're very expensive. Combines now cost $300,000, $400,000, like the price of a nice house. But it does a lot of work. Just when you thought you were safe, that the yellow monster had gone away, here comes the green monster. So this machine is a little older and a little smaller, but it's still a monster. You can really see how it picks up the grass and it feeds it up inside and then it eats it up and up it goes into the machine. You can see how tall those tires are. And there it's working. Some stuff that is needed, some things that are not needed. Up in the top is a tank that holds all the seed. On these machines, you can really see how they work. There are parts that shake back and forth. They shake the seed loose. It's really cool of the farmer to let me come out here in the field today to film this so you guys can see it because it's quite a process to watch. Now this is super cool. Right now, the machine is full. And so he's extended out his auger over the truck and he's pushing, pumping all of that grass seed into the truck. An auger is like a giant screw. And it just pumps out of the pumps out of the machine. Looks like he's empty now. Now he's putting his auger back in. Pulling it back into the side. And then he goes back out to go get some more super cool machines look at this it's a whole truckload of seeds it's amazing there's a few pieces of straw left in it you can see and a few bugs <laughs> but almost all of it is just seeds seeds of grass now all of this will go to a special place where they sift it further and clean it further to separate any of the straw or any of the dirt, anything from it until it's 100% pure grass seed, ready to plant a soccer field. So here you can see he's extending out his stinger auger he's gonna go to the truck here and then he's gonna pump that grass seed out it's gonna be cool has to be careful not to hit the truck but now he activates the auger and boom it's like a river of grass seed flowing out taking the grass seed away to a place where they can store it and clean it and sell it. Still pumping away the grass seed flowing into the machine. Here you can get a good look at how the fingers work to pick up the, the grass seed. Oh, here he comes. Now he's going to put his arm. 
Walker back inside. There he goes again. Off to do it again. You can see it won't take too many trips before they have this truck full and they have to take it back too. Super cool. It looks like it's time to quit for the day because the farmers are turning off their machines, getting ready to go home. Tomorrow morning, they'll be up very early and ready to go one more time. Work, work, work all summer long. So the farmer has agreed to let us see the inside of the machine and it's a monster, look at this. So up the ladder we go. We're gonna go right up here. And you can see that all the windows are, all the cab is made of glass. We'll open the door here. And it's a pretty big place. There's two seats so you can ride with your friend and you'll notice that you can really see all around you because these big machines can be dangerous. So you really have to be able to see. And you got a radio and cameras and you can listen to music and drive your machine. You go really slow, but it's not too bad. But they've been driving today for 12 hours. So it's time to shut down for the night. They also have a radio so they can talk to each other and know what's going on. And uh, air conditioning, of course. And they can listen to music. Not too bad, not too bad. Now I'm standing right next to the tire and you can see it's almost as tall as I am. It's a very big tire. These are big, powerful machines. Hi, all right so these are the guys been working hard all day long how long you been going today uh, we started at 8 30 waiting around 8 30 so wow yeah a long a day bit. a long day wow that's a, a lot of a lot of work yeah and we have a really good crew this year so it, uh, it's a good thing that's great all right well thanks so much for letting us uh, join you on the harvest today hey you gotta clean up your machine Make sure it's all pretty, and then they'll service them again tomorrow to make sure they're ready to go for another hard day's work. So when I was younger, when I was a kid growing up on the farms, I did some of this kind of work. I drove those machines, and I also ran the cleaning machines that cleaned the seeds. Maybe we'll get a chance to see that. But for, for today, they're taking off, time to go home, so it's time for us to go home too. Hope you join us next time on the ELCI Virtual Activities.